Hello everyone, I'm Karen of Café Bebe, and I am modeling for you today, in my very first blog, vlog, uh, my tiara from my wedding, which um, was nearly four years ago now. I got married to my lovely husband, Mark, in March of 2006, and um, I wore this tiara in the wedding, and this first vlog of mine is in honor of Claire Lancaster's challenge to... Um, put up a post or video about your wedding day, your wedding dress, and relate an interesting story. So, in honor of uh, Claire's challenge and my wedding nearly four years ago, um, I'll share with you a little bit from the day. Um, it was a very special day, obviously, for us. Um, it was March 18th of 2006, and we, my husband and I had been engaged uh, for a year, exactly. My husband proposed to me on March 18th of 2005, six weeks after we had met for the very first time. And um, when Mark proposed to me under the London Eye in London, strangely enough, um, it was an absolutely glorious day, um, extremely warm, unseasonably warm, around, um, I think, about 23 degrees Celsius. 60-some degrees Fahrenheit, quite a lovely day, and when we were thinking of when we would set the wedding date, um, we decided to go with a year from the day we got engaged. So the following year, March 18th, um, the temperature at about our wedding time was approximately 4 degrees. Uh, it was so cold that all of the guests at our wedding were wearing their overcoats and their winter coats because it, the church, being a very old and lovely church, was freezing cold. I didn't notice any of it um, because I was so nervous and excited and, and happy on the day. And I wore a strapless wedding gown with, um, it did come with a little shawl, but I, I didn't really wear it much. And I really had no idea how cold it actually was. Um, I think I shivered for the first five minutes in the wedding ceremony in the church, but after that, I was pretty much numb. Um, the wedding itself was an amazing day. Um, my dress, however, was a slightly different situation. Um, thanks to England uh, and fish and chips and chips and more fish and chips, uh, in between the time of me purchasing the wedding dress and the initial try-on and the size that was ordered, and the first few fittings about nine, ten months later, I had expanded a bit. So when we returned, my husband, well, my fiancé and I, Mark and I, from, from a, a holiday in Geneva to go for the first fitting, the lovely woman at the bridal shop, which we grew to hate, um, took me into the dressing room, got me set in the dress, and started to zip it up and attach it and what have you, and very quickly realized, as did I, that I had grown a bit, and it was not going to be the size that I had originally hoped for. Um, the tactless woman, in her wisdom, decided to say, oh, well, that's not going to fit, is it? We'll have to go, I'll have to let it out, so we won't be able to do anything today. Um, it was all I could do to not burst into tears. She was not very sensitive or thoughtful. And um, I left the shop and tracked down my lovely fiancé and then proceeded to cry over the state of my expanded frame. Um, the dress did eventually fit, and it was a lovely day, and it was a lovely dress. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> it wasn't necessarily the size I would have chosen. That wedding dress, however, is now kind of balled up in the bag that it came in one of the boxes stored in the loft. I have no aspirations that my daughter will one, way wear it, one day wear it, because I should imagine that 20 or 30 years from now, when she chooses to get married, the styles will be completely different, and she'll either be smaller, I hope, or bigger than me, and it won't fit. 
But it's still a wonderful reminder of a beiuful day, and um, I still have the tiara to wear, and that will always fit. So again, in honor of my first vlog, um, I'm completing the challenge that Claire Lancaster set for us to share a memory of our wedding and our wedding dress. I hope you enjoyed it, and come back often for more vlogs on Cafe Baby. Bye!